Okay, not this song again. Why does this song keep playing? This song happens every time, guys. Why does this happen? I'm telling you, we've been we've been streaming this playlist for so many days, and Giant Knuckles keeps playing. What's up with that? Anyway, hello. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome to the stream. So happy to see familiar user names and and chat messages and seeing a stream starting soon screen. I've been gone, friends. I was gone on a long journey. And now I'm back. And I'm stronger than ever, brother! Anyway, um, sorry I didn't stream yesterday. Yesterday sucked. That's really it. And today doesn't suck as much. So now I'm streaming. So, um, yeah. And we got, we got a fun game today by a good friend of ours. Vagabond Dog. And I'm very excited to try this out. And then, I know this game isn't very long, so afterwards, I'm going to play what I was going to play yesterday. Um, so after Karen Simulator, we're going to play a little ditty called My Friend Pedro. And that's going to be today's stream. So, with that, let's go ahead and check out what this is about. Now, guys, I don't know too much about Karens, okay? I've only heard a couple stories. I've seen a couple videos. I've never actually seen a real Karen in the wild. So, to help me today, I have an expert here. Um, sir, do you want to do you want to introduce yourself? Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yes. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, DZPG fans. Is, is that it, right? Is that it? Yeah, that... That's it. That's it. All right, hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Oliver William, and I am the true expert in Karens. I have seen many Karens in the wild. I have filmed many Karens in the wild. You might not know this, but almost every Karen video that you see... I mean... It's one of my constituents filming it for me. Hello, hello everyone, nice to meet you all on this beautiful day. Now, I wanted to show you what Karens are like. And this game, this game made by Vagabond Dog. It is truly a great look into the Karens world. So today, I will join you in this journey in look, talking about Karens. And I'll talk, you, talk to you about uh, a little bit of what I have, I've observed in, in Karens, in their culture, and, um, you know, it's going to be great. We really can see them in their most natural habitat. Yes, of course, of course. You get it, Tara. I like your style. I like your style. All right, uh, let's go ahead and see what we got for this game. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hello? Ooh, I like the tunes. I don't hear this very much in my country, so it's very good. Uh, where... Uh, DC, do you know how to work this system here? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Oh, sorry guys, here, I, I'm taking, taking control so I can make sure he can work the stream. He's not really good with technology. Any chance of a visual Oliver? I mean, here's the thing, guys. I don't have a good camera, so... Um, if, if you sub and donate... I can get that technology for it. And maybe one day we'll get to we'll get to see all of our look. I mean he wants to come back, he's already liking this a lot. Um, now how how do we even eye capture a game? There's so many fucking things here. Oliver, hold on man. Hold one second, dude, don't worry. Why is it not capturing my charm? Oh. Oh. Kettle chips! Nice subscription, man! I love it! Thanks, buddy. I appreciate wow. it. Hey, there we go. All right, all over. Come on back, come on back, bud. Come on, come on. All right, all oh, right, okay. All right, everyone, it's time to start. Uh, thank you. Oh, I, I see le, le food. What, uh, is it le food? How do you say it? How, how do you say this one? 
Lift from the Fuji's. Interesting. Good to see you here, sir. Welcome to the stream. All right. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in the world of Karens. All right. Which difficulty would you like to play on? Um, normal mode. We got a mild challenge, and Karen mode is when you deserve to win. Oh, I think Karen mode is the way to go, fellas. Oh, you know me, I know all about Karens. I mean, it's 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 been documented in my research. It's all out there. You can check it out. Uh, Karen mode has been selected. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, I see. We already are the typical Karen. Can you believe this? I have seen that haircut many times in the wild. It is believed that it is a, a mating signal that the Karens are ready to produce more aggressive offspring. Let's continue. Oh, I don't need any of this. Thank you. It was a normal Tuesday morning like any other. The birds were chirping and the sun was shining. Karen was cleaning out her purse and found something. It was a coupon, good for $50 off, at a bag of big crisp chips. Ooh, Karens love the coupons. You know, that's a good way to bait them in. Bait them and then tag them for later research. You know what I mean. There was only one problem. Totally ethically sound. It had expired on Monday. Oh, hello, welcome to God Mart. Oh, how can I help you today? Um, hi. I have this coupon I'd like to redeem. It says I can get a bag of chips for half price. Uh, sure, let me, let me have a look at that. Is there a problem? Oh, well, uh, it expired yesterday. I'm sorry, but I, I can't accept this. Okay, these meters represent the cashier's resolve. Interesting. So, we really are the Karens in this. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's see. Let's get this. Here we go. How does... How does... Can you all hear the game? I think you can. You guys sound great. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it's perfect. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. They have a finite amount of confidence, indifference, and patience. Use your arguments to whittle down their resolve and get your way. Hmm. I see, so you can... It is just like what I've studied! Hello! Hello, Mandijan! Welcome to the chat, DZ. Do you know these people? Yeah. It, don't... Don't worry about it, dude. Hey, guys, it's good to see it. I'm back here. I'm watching, so... Don't worry about it. All right. He is here. So welcome. Welcome, fans. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream today. Um, so we can intimidate them to wear down the confidence, we can guilt them into their indifference, and annoy them to wear down their patience. Interesting! Hmm. I mean, these people must have studied my research. I mean, it's almost exactly what I've worked on. <laughs> wow, we... They really know their stuff. All right. Successfully navigating the conversation is key to victory. We shall bring them to their knees, shan't we, Oliver? Yes, Codapil! You are truly a believer, and you are truly a scientist to explore the Karen. We can do this. We will become one step closer to understanding why they are so angry and why they are so stupid. Keep an eye out on your freakout meter, though. If your freakout meter fills up, we'll lose you and you'll go crazy. There are always people with cameras around. Oh, yes, the cameras. It happens. They are. They do give a lot of pressure to the Karen. It's really hard to, to watch them in their natural habitat without them freaking out. So, we have to set up the state-of-the-art technology in order to watch them. Hey, Oliver, do you know if DZPZ is streaming tomorrow? Uh, he might be, I believe. Oh, oh, he, oh, well, he got it. Oh, uh, he actually just left. Oh, well, um, probably. So, anyway. You don't, you wouldn't want to become a bad meme now, would you? 
"All right, what do you mean? Wh wh hold on, let me get into my true Karen impression. What do you mean you can't accept the coupon? Did you read it right? Sounds pretty good. Um, did you read it right? Are you sure you got the date? Uh, yeah, I, I just double-checked it. It expired at midnight yesterday. My, my apologies. Oh, don't give me that! Let's see. Customer service is always a good option, yes? This is very interesting, the choices we can make. It is much like a true Karen. You're not doing your job right. This is terrible customer service. Oh, is it? I, I'm sorry to disappoint. I empathize with your situation, but my, my hands are tied. Uh, no, I don't think they are. Why don't you just try scanning it? What's the harm in seeing what happens? Alright, just take the chips. I literally don't give a shit anymore. I'll pay the 140 myself if my boss gives me trouble. Just please, let's finish this transaction and move on. I knew you'd see the sense eventually. Here's the money. You can keep the receipt. I'll just take my chips and leave. Wow, that was the tr that was a very great example of Karenism at its finest, folks. Oh, they only have sour cream flavor. She does have to feed her kids somehow, and we all know she can't hold a true stable career. <laughs> Sounds like it's McDonald's again, folks. Ho oh, ho! Truly magnificent. All right, we have a cafe. Let's see what happens here. After her victory at the Con Mart, Karen was in the mood for celebration. She set out for her favorite coffee shop, the local Star Cups. Ooh, a, oh, a rousing cup of coffee from Star Cups. On the way, she placed her order using her their handy mobile app. All that she wanted was a simple drink. A grande Mochaccino with almond milk, six pumps of sugar, uh, six pumps of syrup, java chips, six pumps of espresso, fresh non-dairy whipped cream, and double vegan fair trade chocolate sauce at exactly 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow! This is the exact profile I use in my research! The Karens can't resist a mochaccino! My friends, I cannot recommend this game enough. It is so real to what the Karens are and my research. Oh, 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 <clears throat> oh, yeah. Excuse me. I got a little carried away talking about my, uh, my Karen research. I got excited. Excuse me. Oh, well, hey, welcome to Star Cups. What can I get for you today? Um, I'm here for my mobile order pickup. Oh, sure thing. Name? Karen. Yep, it's right on the pickup lane to your right. Uh, okay. Thanks. What is the Karen going to do in his natural habitat? Sup, DZ? Oh, hello, Sir Gastro. This is Oliver William here at the helm. We are researching the Karen in the natural environment. Uh, DZ will be back a little bit later on. But I'm so thankful for you to be here in the stream. Yes, I am. Uh, something wrong, ma'am? Yeah. I asked for a grande mochaccino with almond milk, six pumps of syrup, chava chips, six pumps of espresso, fresh non-dairy whipped cream, and double vegan fair trade chocolate sauce at exactly 95 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a grande mochaccino with cashew milk, six pumps of syrup, chava chips, six pumps of espresso, non fresh non-dairy whipped cream, and double vegan fair trade chocolate sauce at exactly 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Can't you guys get a simple order right? Oh, 
Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, let me remake your drink right away. Ah, yes, it is true. The Karens. They need their orders exact. We have trouble collecting the research in the game. Because if we don't make their mochaccino exact... Oh, you don't want to see those Karens go into freakout mode. Sorry for the mix-up, ma'am. Please enjoy your fresh drink. <laughs> no, that's not enough. I want a full refund as well. Uh, a refund? Yes, a refund. The allergic line is a great one for the Karens. I could have been allergic to cashew milk. Did you ever think that you might have killed me? Oh, well... I suppose you have a point. Uh, though all our drinks come with a blanket allergy warning on them, I understand your frustrations. Your drink was exceptionally complex, though. It doesn't matter what I ordered. Getting them on what their responsibility is is a... A great tactic that Karens like to use in this situation. That's your responsibility. It's literally your only job. If you can't get it right, why are you even working here? Uh, there's a there's a lot more to my job than just serving drinks. There's a whole business to run, ma'am. Uh, you got the drinks you asked for. There's no need for a refund. You know what? And here we are, folks. It is the line. This is the true mating call of the Karens! I'd like to speak to the manager. I'd like to speak to the manager. Ma'am. I am the manager! Oh no! It has happened! The manager has pulled out the card! It is truly happening, much like in the real world! What is going to happen next to the Karen? <laughs> what? That's impossible! I assure you, ma'am, I'm the manager at this location. Alright, the Karen is now in a tricky spot! People are watching with their cameras. What do we say next? We... We must take this to corporate! Then I'll talk to corporate. Give me your full name and your employee number. Fine. I'll give you your damned refund. Just stop yelling at me. Just take your drink and your money. Get out of my shop. You're the most ridiculous woman I've ever met! Huh. <laughs> you shouldn't have messed with me. So long! And thus, the Karen is successful! <gasps> oh no! It is one of the worst things that could ever happen to a Karen! The drink is cold! Uh, it's gone cold! What a beautiful display of rebellion, throwing the coffee in the trash can! A true uh, Parker's moment! <laughs> I understand the youth. Alright! Oh, wow, we have so many places opened for us! Uh, my dear audience members, I know some of you have played have played this before, and I'm not super informed in video games. Where do you think I should go next? Uh, does the do restaurants last? Okay, thank you, Chris Riggs. Do the spa next? Ooh. Uh, is this DZPG told me that there would be some moments that are ooyu moments? Is that the spa? Is that a ooyu moment? I need an answer. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe just go. Don't. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? DZ was right. Chat's useless. Let's move on to Spa. After a tiring day of getting her way, Karen needed to break. But just so y'all know, DZ PG also said afterwards that he loves you guys. 
don't tell him I said that. Anyway, between the demands of yelling at teens in the park and arguing about parking spaces, she needed to unwind. Karen needed a mess, uh, massage to work out all the tension she'd collected. As she approached the Maxi Relaxi Spa, nothing could sour her mood. Okay, Oliver, I got to go for class. Good luck. Until DZP, I'll be here later. Okay, great. That sounds wonderful. I hope you cover Karen's in your class, Skies guy, Skies Dies. It is very important. Or so, or so she thought. Good afternoon, ma'am. Welcome to, to the Maxi Relaxy Spa. Can I get your name for your appointment verification? Yeah, I'm Karen. Just one minute, please hold. Ah, Karen's already do not like being held. I foresee this not going so well. I see in our appointments calendar. I see you in our appointments calendar. However, there's a minor issue. Issue? <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to have to push your appointment back a few minutes. The group before you arrived a little later than expected. My apologies. Oh, the Karen does not like to wait. This is unacceptable. I want to be seen right now. I'm really very sorry. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. Your masseuse won't be available immediately. If you'd like, you're more than welcome to take a seat in our relaxing lobby while you wait. I don't have time to take a seat. Oh, there they are. Just one moment. Oh no, this is already getting more complex. There are two other characters involved in the situation. Hi, ladies. Are we all finished for today? Um, actually, no. It's my big day, and I still don't feel relaxed. Tell your massage boy that, like, we want another hour. Oh, um, there are other clients booked, but we'll see what I can do. Goodbye, Skies Dies. I don't even know if I actually said goodbye, but... So long, farewell, <laughs> I'll feed us and goodbye. <laughs> Good joke, right, lads? Very relevant. Great, can I go in now? Not necessarily. You see, it's that woman's wedding day and she's asked for a second massage. If it's okay with you... Oh, it is never okay with the Karen. She wants to take my slot? After making me wait? She's got another thing coming. Oh gosh. Oh no! This is a Karen v. Karen situation! Folks, who knows where this will go at home? Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you! What's the big deal? You're holding everyone up. And now you want to take my appointment? Oh my god. This old woman is totally losing it. Ah yes, the young Karen, the old Karen. In real life happening, their battles go deep in the Karenverse. And now we are seeing it play out. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, folks. You really get to enjoy the Karens without Hearing how awful they are in the real world. <laughs> I have PTSD and I go to my therapist because of all the carrots I've heard. Drama! Um, what's your problem? My problem? Ooh. Do we go? Hard on the first line. Some Karens employ this tactic. However, we are being filmed, aren't we? And such, we must make the other Karen look worse. I am actually torn. <laughs> Such is the game of Karens. It is a beautiful cycle. Let's pick 
let's go hard first just to see how she will react. You are a bitch! My massage didn't push back all because of you! And now you're trying to take my slot? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Today's my big day. I don't have time to care about your problems. You know what? All right, it is time to tell her how selfish she is. She is so selfish. You're selfish. Sorry, that was a bad Karen voice. I can't think of anyone else, can you? You need to understand something. Nobody cares if you're getting married. Well, nobody cares about your opinion. You're just some dumb loudmouth who likes to be heard. Burn! Loudmouth? <laughs> it is time to really get at the bride! I am loud, but you are dumb. I'm loud, but you're dumb. If you don't like getting screamed at, maybe you should smarten up, princess. So pay attention, because you're not getting my time slot. I pre-booked this months ago on an early bird special. Oh my god, she's not even paying full price. Embarrassing! Uh, hey. You do need to relax. I recognize what's going on. Look at the world. Look at our lives. We're all so overworked. Nobody has time for mistakes. We can't... We can't afford to make concessions for one another. Everything is calculated and controlled to the minute. A billion things to do, and only a thousand minutes to get them done. The demands of our jobs, families, and communities, social pressures, demanding we be the best at all times, the compounds and the culture that lies, saying we can have it all. Don't blame each other for these shortcomings. Blame our system for selling entitlement and privilege. Blame our culture for replacing humanity with desire. You both need to relax. Relax and realize that your enemy is not another person. It's capitalism that's to blame. Prenup says it all. 
You'll be alone and penniless in a few months, guaranteed. Always be a bimbo airhead with nothing real to offer a man. Forget it, you hag! I don't have to listen to you. I'm going back in and there's nothing you can do about it. Don't you turn your back on me! You're not taking my appointment! Good luck stopping me. When you're stuck in wet. The Karen duped herself! The Karen duped herself! In true Karen fashion! It is truly a battle of Alpha Karens! Let the Karen games begin! Wee! My outfit! My hair! My hair! Ha! That's what you get when you mess with me! And he wants to say one thing. Wait, hold on, hold on. He wants to say one thing. Okay. Uh, hey guys. Um, I just want to say this game is 10 out of 10 incredible. Art amazing. Uh, this is a great, great image. And I is it? I is there any way I can use this image on my stream in some capacity? Can we ask the artist if I can use this street this image on my stream in any capacity? Because I fucking love this image. If there's any way. Oh yeah? Do you, can, can we reach out to them? This is fucking incredible. This would be a great BRB. Or uh, just something. I would love to be able to use this if possible. Anyway, I'm going to pass it back to Oliver. Um, and, and yeah. Alright. <sighs> Let's get back to it. Where we at? Hello? Okay. Great. So we got the salon and the food. Let, how how does it? You know what? Let's uh, let's do the salon next. It seems like the next best place right after the spa. I think that's a good location to, to start next. All right, let's go. As she drove down, or if she drove around town in her minivan, a ghastly sight caught Karen's eye. Through the rearview mirror. She spied that several strands of hair, hair of her hairdo had fallen out of place. Viewing her style as a pivotal part of her personality, she sought to rectify it immediately and made it uh, made a beeline to her favorite sa salon. Without her signature look, Karen felt unremarkable, without identity. Little did she understand, it was not what made her unique. It's very true. Okay, honey, I'll be back in a bit. I'm gonna take this new haircut out for a walk. Whatever. Oh, don't worry, Mama Bear. I'll take good care of her. You're the best. A beautiful look. <gasps> Excuse me. Rudolfo! <gasps> Karen! What's the trouble, darling? Oh, don't play dumb with me. He. He has betrayed the Karen in one of the most sinful acts in the Karen Bible. He has betrayed us! You've betrayed me! Totally stabbed me in the back! You can't just give another woman my hairstyle! That's a violation of our relationship! It's basically identity theft. Seriously? Honey, darling baby girl, you need to understand something. You don't own that style. You don't owe anything. Suddenly, Rudolph... 
Dofu's face hardened. The veneer of the kind style evaporated in an instant, replaced by the cold and unreadable expression of someone who had dealt with the likes of Karen too many times before. Karen could no longer read her old friend. She was blind to his inner workings. You need to check yourself, Karen. I don't need this attitude in my salon. Attitude? What attitude? You come in here barking at me over someone else's haircut? What do you want me to do about it? Isn't it obvious? When she gets back, I want you to shave her head. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm serious, Rudolph. You do it, or I will. The Karen must take full control. You do it, or I will. Uh, you're not touching my razor. I don't need your buzzer. I'll tear her hair out with my bare hands. So you better get that trimmer ready. It's happening as soon as she gets back. You're off your rocker, Karen. I'm not doing shit, and you're not the boss of me. So either shut your trap or get lost. You need to realize something, Rodolfo. Ooh, yes. You have to bring in the the past. We had the business. I was your first client. I was your first client. I've been with you since the beginning. Right when you opened this place, I was there. Don't try and make this emotional, Karen. It's not going to work with me. You're not as important to me as you think. Oh, sh shit! Uh, hey. Are you gonna come my hair or what? Not now, Addison. I've got to put this bitch in her place. Whatever. Listen, Karen. You didn't invent anything. That style has always existed. People like you have always existed. You're just the latest version. Oh no. Since the dawn of time, your kind have walked the earth. Even before we knew how to speak. He is dropping my research on this Karen! It's exactly as I foretold! <laughs> Through the ages, your predecessors have been just the same. You exploit everyone around you for your personal whims. Faster, you worthless dog! My tomb won't construct itself! Please, I need to rest. My body is going to give out. I beg just, just a sip of water. Karen does not... <laughs> Sorry, I pr pronounced that wrong. This is the most powerful Karen deity. I must give it honor. Karen does not care for your troubles! Cruelty your type has dealt unto others has never known its limits, even when the stakes are of the utmost extreme. It is blatant that this woman is a witch! There's no other explanation for her persistent youth and beauty. She hath turned my husband's eyes wandering. Also, my crops failed, so... Milady, please. I'm only 22. I had nothing to do with your crops. Heresy! Thou mustn't suffer to a witch to live! Burn the enhancements before she hexes us all! Oh! It doesn't end with you either. Everyone knows that the toxicity you create will always exist. Unka, unka, bunga. 
Droid, I demand you accept the terms. Will you comply? How does one say that? No. Then you will be destroyed. Such a tragedy. That poor butt. This is why I do my research. So Karen, do you understand? You need to get off your bullshit now because it's not going to work. I know all about you and who you are at the core. You're not special. You're not unique. Nothing about you is original, distinctive, or fresh. You're just a bad old trope that we're all tired of. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't even know what a trope is! The Karen is stupid, so we are going to go full stupid! I don't even know what a trope is. You're just talking nonsense. <laughs> There's not enough time in the day to educate your basic ass. You need to shut your mouth and go, Karen. Karen, I'm warning you. Don't fuck with my customers or you'll regret it. Hey, I'm back. Sorry I took so long. I stopped to admire the garden across from the parking lot. Oh shit! A fully enraged Karen has met one of her kind! It is time for them to battle. Oh hey! We've got the same hairstyle. Isn't that funny? Not for long, you phony! Rudolfo, give me those scissors! Uh, not a chance, Karen. You've lost it. This is not gonna end well. Better get on video. Get out of my way, Rudolfo! <laughs> <laughs> what you get is what you deserve, traitor! That is a classic Karen move! The trash can punch! Now it's your turn, phony! There can be only one! <laughs> yes! That's a Highlander reference! Yes! 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 That was Highlander! Yes! What did you do? I've returned balance to the order of things. Now take a good look at yourself and always remember this. Actually, it's not that bad. Kind of fresh, don't you think, Addison? Kind of, I'm not gonna lie. Better than this freak's wig, at least. Listen here, you little brat. I'm sorry, everyone. I... That was such an intense experience, I couldn't... I couldn't keep it together! And it is even on K slash public meltdown! Holy shit! Wait, we... we have to play this song. Hold on. I'm going to take... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on a second. I'm gonna bring it back to Dave. Hey everyone, I'm gonna take my medicine right now while this plays because this song is incredible and I think we all need to listen to it. This song's incredible, guys. This is a great song, Oliver, and also Oliver Williams loving it. Here we go! Yeah. 
Take a second, maybe think back. There's no need to be so mean, hon. Nope. Take a chill pill, yeah. try and have fun. Uh -huh. Double cashier, leave him alone. Yeah. Let him work now and just go home. Stop complaining, no need to scream. Go back to Facebook, post me in your memes. Can we go to manager? everyone all right and I'm back Oliver William back at the helm that was a beautiful ditty all about carrots anyway did we lose Wait, so did we lose the salon? I guess we must have. Let's try the food zone. Eh, yeah, that's okay. We'll we'll get back to it next time. Let's try the food zone. It, that 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 last part is really hard. Not wanting to let the day escape her, Karen saw fit to cross a vital task off her list. She would visit the grocery store and collect a few frozen pizzas to feed her family. It wasn't easy putting such a good meal on the table every night, but she was proud. Except, she never considered. There were rules to be followed. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Uh, ma'am? What? Ma'am, did you see the sign? You can't come inside without your mask. My mask? Yes, ma'am, uh, you need a mask. We're admit a health crisis? It's essential. We all have to do our part, and nobody's allowed in to shop without a proper mask. But... Karen's love to refute science. Let's try that they don't even work. They don't even work. They're worthless. You can pretend all you want, but I can't be fooled. Ma'am, this is on the advice of health, the health minister. I'm not a medical expert, but I'll follow the expert's advice. I recommend you do as well. Listen, hear you. Oh, sh shit. We have to go with the worst one on the list. It is also one of my favorite words. I know it's a little bit hard to discern from my accent, but I am Australian. I promise you, that is what I am. I just had to permit the term whore and chat. But we do have to go with bitch. No, we have to go with cunt. Sorry, I just saw bitch. We have to go with cunt. Whore! Here we go. You fat cunt! Man! There's no excuse for that kind of language! Seriously, who hurt you? <laughs> who hurt you? Those words struck her. Suddenly, a repressed memory bubbled to the surface. Come on, Karen. You can do this. I just gotta take the smugs and accounts. Cross-reference those files. Cal collate these documents by value. Copy everything in triplicate. All before lunch. Karen! Uh, yes, Mr. Bossman? Where are those smugs and documents I asked for? The smugs and documents? 
This is the Karen backstory. It is truly a sad one. A tale of grief and woe. And much pink. It is legally blonde in here. Ha <laughs> ha. Is that a good joke too? Please someone tell me that I am funny. Oliver William, I don't really understand jokes. Anyway. <laughs> Those cheekbones are thick. Thank you, Chris Riggs. That is my one flaw is Oliver William. Real life Karen. Researcher. Sorry. <laughs> They're almost ready. I will have them to you very soon. That's not good enough, Karen. You're putting this company in jeopardy. I need them now. What do you have to say for yourself? Um... I'm still new here. It's taken me longer than expected to figure out your systems out. Are you saying I should have hired someone with more experience? Perhaps you wouldn't be waiting on a few simple reports if I had. Maybe I could call up that old hag you beat out and have someone competent. Just give me one more chance. Uh, I need this job, Mr. Boss Man. I don't know what I'd do without it. I don't care how desperate you are. That's not my concern. You're here to service my interests. I'm running a business, not a charity. Mr. Boss Man, I... I... Please don't speak to me like this. You're being cruel. Listen here, you fat cunt. I'm running the business here. I'm in charge. You don't get to tell me anything, and so long as you keep screwing up, I'll speak to you any way I please. You're nothing and a nobody. That's all you'll ever be. Do you understand? You're nothing. Oh, shit! This is the birth of the Karen! Get it done. And clean these papers up. Also, this track was killer. That was a killer track. It was the most hurt she had ever been. The smallest she had ever felt. That day, Karen vowed she would never let anyone make her feel like that again. She destroyed the sweet girl she used to be and hardened herself to the world. Never again would she take such abuse. Ma'am? The Karen is having a breakdown! Uh, ma'am? Shut up! You don't know anything about me! So, part of me wants to tell her everything, but I don't want to unload my whole life in front of all these people. That does not seem like a good way to keep my attention down. Maybe asking for the apology would be a good bet. Yes, I was thinking apologize, Tara! Maybe you are also a Karen scientist, are you not? Apologize right now! You've made me very upset! You're so cruel! I may start crying! I'm sorry, ma'am. We got off on a bad foot, but we must still follow the policy. And please, it's better to be safe than sorry. This is nothing but basic fear-mongering. We must defend that we won't be scared. You won't scare me with this. I refuse to be bullied by your tactics. I face too much to let you intimidate me. Ma'am, please calm down. This isn't a large request. You don't need to be so defensive about it. Look, I, I can't repeat this enough. If you want to shop here, you have to wear one. We have a firm policy in place, and there's no exceptions, no matter what you think or say. Do you see what this is really about? What's it really about? 
They're trying to take away... I'm thinking justice. I, I mean, freedom is the line, but do I want to feed? We do freedom? All right. We're. I mean, I'm seeing. I as Oliver William. I am. I am torn on this because freedom is the classic line. But should we go with the classic, or can she combat us because she knows the classic lines, much like you, Tara? Do justice. That's what I was thinking. She's obviously a staunch Republican. They're trying to take away our justice. And if she calls herself a liberal, she's still a Republican. If they can take break the law this way, they'll do worse. I know what you want. You, the so-called experts, and all your mindless followers. You want to destroy this country with those damned masks. Ma'am, you're talking nonsense. There's no global conspiracy against you. You need to face reality and accept it. Sometimes we need to suffer some inconvenience for the sake of others. But I won't let you. So <laughs> Alright, here we go. You can't control me, you fastest! <laughs> oh crap. This is privilege. This lady's a lunatic. Give me that phone right now. A full Garen freak. Oh my gosh. So this is... Holy shit. So this is the game over screen. That's incredible. All right, let's try it again. Let's do this. I think we can do this one. I knew what I need to do. Yes, I have to win and not have a public meltdown. Yes. Um, I, I need to whittle down her patience. Let's whittle down her patience. Because I like the patience lines that we said at the end, but we didn't whittle it down enough in the... Oh, no, sorry, not her patience, her indifference. It was her indifference. That's what it was. It was the indifference. I did a lot of indifference lines in the ends, but I didn't do it in the beginning. I don't know. Wait. Let's see. We must, we must as a Karen destroy this worker who is in, 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 impeding on our freedoms. We must use I don't have a mask. I don't have a mask. I haven't got one on me or at any home. Can't wear what I don't have now, can I? That may be the case, but the rules still stand. If you need to purchase one, we can sell you a pack of them for only a dollar. Now you're trying to force me to buy one? I have a medical condition that means I can't wear a mask. Wearing a mask will mess up my breathing. It's literally a hazard on my health. That was it, folks. The health. The health. That's the line. Ma'am, if you have a medical condition, you shouldn't be here. You're putting yourself at serious risk. With or without a mask. Listen. <laughs> Alright. This time around, let's try, uh... I kinda, I kinda, I'm thinking whore. How do you guys feel? Go slut? How many, okay, so we got bitch, slut, whore. I'm just gonna go with whoever says the most in chat. I gotta vote for slut. What else? I'm a little more, uh, I'm, I'm leaning a little more towards whore. Slut? We got two for slut! No, no, whore? We have one for whore! This is a battle! In chat! I think we need to go slut. It's, it's three. Sorry, Sir Gastro. Such, such is democracy. Too bad our leaders don't understand. You worthless slut!
Ah, yes, now we'll go back. We'll try some new ones as young Karen. Let's see what happens. Oh, it is also top of the hour, isn't it? It's getting close to an ad break! If you like what you see and you don't want to see ads, DZ told me that you should subscribe! You get cool emotes! No ads! And we are constantly growing! Also, if I get 15 sub... things... Right now, we can unlock a new tier 1 emote! The channel, I believe, is at 12! So please, if you want a new emote that you can use all the time without paying more money, go ahead and sub! Assign documents... Let's try, uh, it's not lunch yet. It's not lunch yet, though. You said you wanted them before lunch. Yes, I did. It's before lunch now. So they should be ready. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh... I'm so sorry, Mr. Bossman. Please forgive me. Well, I'm not firing you immediately. Consider that forgiveness enough. Please, just give me one more chance. I'll get it right. I just need a minute. Once I understand it, I'll be good. I don't have time to sit around and wait for you to comprehend some basic paperwork. How many times do I have to go over these things with you? Take the files, process the files, submit the files. What part of that can't you figure out? Mr. Boss, man. I... 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 Please don't speak to me like this. You're being cool. Listen here, you... You worthless slut! I'm running the business here. I'm in charge. I've worked so hard. I've spent all this money. And I inherited it all. You're nothing. Because I got a lot of money when I was young. The stock market's my life. What's going to happen next? She's having a, a big cry in public. Shut up! You don't know anything about me. Apologize right now. You made me very upset. You're so cruel, I may start crying. I'm sorry, man. We got off on a bad foot, we, but we must still follow policy. Please, it's better to be safe than sorry. You won't scare me with this. I refuse to be bullied by your tactics. I face too much to let you intimidate me. All right. We can shop without a mask. I didn't mean to cause such an inconvenience. Please, just be quick to your shop and keep your social distance. Uh, certainly. Just direct me to your frozen pizzas and I'll be on my way. Frozen pizzas? We haven't had any since the shipment slowed. Uh, never mind then. Ah, uh, yes, we did it! We did it! We got our pizzas from the food zone and ma got made another, you know. Almost a hundred cases of coronavirus happen! It is a truly great day for Karen. Alright, everyone. It's now been about an hour. I, I, Oliver, William, I must depart. I, I'm going to do the ad for DZ, and when that's over, he will come back, okay? Um... But I want to thank you all so much for letting me be on the stream. Hopefully you will learn more Karen tactics as we continue on our ever-ending research on learning about the Karen! <coughs> Sorry. I have to 
calm myself down. It was very nice to meet all of you. Um, if, if you like what you saw and heard today, please uh, give DZPG a follow and even a sub if you're feeling so kind. He's a very great fellow. And uh, Plugbot there, he helped remind me to let you all know. And just so you know, Plugbot supports the stream through those follows and subs. So if you want him to stay alive and his children to thrive, please give a follow or sub or else he'll perish. But no pressure. Anyway, I'm going to run the ad. And I'm going to say toodaloo. Goodbye, my friends. Keep filming the Karens. Goodbye! Alright, I need to get this thing off me. I get it. The ad's running. Come on, Dave. Can you... Yeah, yeah, yeah man. There I got it. Yeah. Alright. <sighs> hey, everyone. I'm back. I think now's a good time to take some more medicine. It's incredible. Everybody probably heard every single crisp second of that. 10 out of 10. That's what you get when you sub. You can get to hear those noises. <laughs> uh, we're all having a good time, huh? But anyway. Um, ad's about to end. Alright, y'all. I'm back. Ads back, thank you guys. Oh shit. Um, I really want to give a special thanks to Oliver William. He really helped out on the stream today. Um, and thank you guys for being so so open and nice to him. He's kind of a kooky character, so thank you for not for not you know being so judgmental. I really appreciate it. Anyway, his research is really good, so we're gonna dive deeper and maybe one day we'll be as knowledgeable on Karen's as as he is. So we did the food zone. We gotta do the salon, right? Let's try the salon again. I bet we can do this one. So. And before you guys ask, I watched this part behind Oliver William. I know what happened. I was just reading quietly. So don't, don't start poking my things, dude. I see you out there, chat. I see you out there, chat member. All right, well, we, what, what, what do you guys think we need to do here? I'm going to need your, your input because I don't know Karen's as well as uh, last guy that was manning this. So what do you think we need to do to get at uh, sassy, sassy, knowledgeable gay? I mean, you know, this is like basically like a Pokemon battle where the gay is super effective. Thanks, Sir Gastro. Good to see you, buddy. Really happy to see you on stream. It's awesome. All right, so what are we gonna do about Rodolfo, y'all? I need some help, I need some input. How, I mean, Terry, you know, I saw you, 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 I mean, I know you have so much experience doing with Karens. What do you think, what do you think we need to do in this situation? All right, here we go. The gay is super effective, I need to use that sometime. You, you 1,000% are allowed to, Sir Gastro. You 1,000% are. The gay is super effective. Um, I think the betrayal is a good, a good tactic to go. But I have to make sure I keep doing indifferent things, right? I know, okay, so I don't own it. Yep, and that's gonna disappear. I guess really the best thing to get him at would be his patience, actually. Maybe I should have went back and hit, hit patience. 
Oh wait, hold on, fuck, I just fucked that whole thing up. God damn it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, referrals don't get so emotional. Did I fuck this up already? I think I fucked this up already. Uh oh. Wait, we get to see Oonga Boonga though again, and that's amazing. <laughs> going full, going full unga boonga right there. Unk, unk. Uga, 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 uga. So many horny bonks. All right. Um, I think I fucked this up. Do we? I guess we have to sit through the the cutscene again. That's okay. It's good. I. This game is is really amazing. Is this is still is this still an early access? Right? Or did I just did I just make that up? This is incredible. Hold oh, I love it. I love it. One one zero zero one zero zero one one zero zero one one. Oh, yeah. I think I have to do patience. I have to do patience, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I fucked up. I have to do patience. I got it. This is incredible, though. I I gotta say, this game is so amazing. I am so impressed. I'm about to do like four times. I think I have to go down the patient route. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like I have to hit more patient ideas. There was more green. Cause purple, purple feeds into me being pissed, you know? I love that this is the ending though, that it's like, um, that it's like, um, like the game over is that you get posted on Reddit basically. I, I watched I go on, public freak out all the fucking time on reddit i see this shit all the time it's amazing i fucking love it this game was all justin's wife's idea and she did all the portraits they're killing it i i am so impressed by vagabond dog that's great and and w watching indie developers grow it's been so cool being able to get a vision into that i've never really been able to get an idea and it's it's so great um people are really making some excellent shit All right, guys, let's do it. Very impressed. It's it's great. I would love to stream. Um, yeah, exactly. I was just about to say we should do a stream playing his other games. Sometimes always monsters. I would love to play through both of his games. I haven't played through the first one. Is sometimes always I, I keep mixing them up. Is sometimes always monsters the first one? I'm sorry, vagabond dog. I, that's that's my brain being dumb. Which one's the first one? Because maybe I might stream the first one on my own. ASM first, Sam second? Okay, well I need to play ASM, so I, I might do that on my own stream one of these days. Um, maybe we'll do that after my friend Pedro. Why not? I don't know. But then we, can, we should definitely do Sometimes Always Monsters together. Yeah, that would be great. I would love to. Ten out of ten. All right, here we go. 
I'm back. What did I miss? Oh, nothing. Just me losing again. We're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna fucking beat this and get Rodolfo to to be awesome. I think I know what to do. I, we got, we really gotta whittle down his patience. A lot of people are just really fucking impatient with this shit. It's not about their confidence, really. That woman has my exact haircut. That's my haircut. You can't just give another woman my hairstyle. That's a violation of our relationship. It's basically identity theft. Seriously? Honey, darling, baby girl, you need to understand something. You don't own that style. You don't know anything. We gotta get the patience, yo. I think that's what it is. Unless there's something, an option I can say in the beginning that doesn't freak me out. Should I, so I have to say you do it or I will. You do it or I will. That's not touching my razor. I don't need your buzzer. Yep. Now, now, this is where I'm getting confused. Should I do I built this business or I was your first client? I feel like the purple options do really well, but I don't know what it brings down. What do you guys think? Should I? Because I was kind of focused. I, I noticed that there's more green later on. So should I do I built this business or should I do I was your first custom client? I'm torn here. Focus on one color? I see I like first client, but focus on one color. Okay. Blue is indifference and green is patience. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. So, I was thinking of doing I built this business. Because there's a lot of green later on. Let's let's do I built this business then. Purple is nothing? Well, earlier, purple did... I did purple earlier, and it took down, like, two effects at one time. So, I don't know if it's... I don't know. Anyway. Let's try it. Oh wait, maybe it's all of them? That makes more sense! <laughs> I probably should have done the purple! We'll see what happens now. I don't know. That's what my gut wanted me to go purple. But it doesn't take down all of them. It only takes down, like, specific ones. Let's see what happens. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Purple probably drives up your freakout meter more. I don't know. I didn't I didn't notice that, but it definitely could. That would be a good give or take um you know mechanic. <laughs> unk, unk. This is the best thing of the whole game though. Bonk. That's that bonk sound effect is really good too. Is that a free sound effect? Can we get that on stream too? Can that be horny bonk? If I can get sounds to work? We've been having lots of horny bonks happen. That might be a good emote. Maybe that will be the tier next tier one emote. Actually, no. Sorry. If I unlock the next tier one emote, you all will be able to use happy sunshine flower. And then tier two emote will be maybe horny bonk gonna be that or maybe simp i don't know we'll see all right oh this is the tr this tragedy this is like the this is such a tragedy no, but then they'll bonk me for being horny. That's I mean I have to bonk I have to bonk myself all the time, guys. It happens. We're playing video games. Bonk. Alright. I mean I played a whole stream of Silent Hill 2. Like, what do you want from me? And Doki Doki. I'm literally just a big sim. You only think you know me. Really, you haven't got a clue. Rodolfo. Yeah! Just let her do it. What? Addison? 
This is your mother we're talking about. Uh, stepmom. Also, it'll make great content. Uh, I, I connected with the youth. I connected with the Billie Eilish type. Girls, this is too much for me. I, suddenly, it's my lunch break. I'm out of here. <laughs> I think she's coming. Do it, and I'll film through the mirror. <laughs> I'm back, sweetie. Uh, hey. You're not going to believe this, but an officer was writing us a ticket as I passed by our car. I jokingly asked him if he could forget about it, and he just ripped it off. You don't think this haircut had something to do with it, do you? Fuck this bitch. Hold still, you imposter! <laughs> oh my god, my hair! What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> it suits you a lot better, you copycat. <laughs> so wild. Eh. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ew, ew. Hell yeah. Uh. Yeah. We stopped the Karen. We. We stopped the Karen! Okay, guys. What we need. We need to take this beat, and we need to make a Dragon Ball Z-style rap, but instead of it being like Goku and Frieza, it's Karen v. Karen. You know what I mean? Can we make that song? TM, 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 TM. <laughs> no, never? Alright, we're doing it. Alright, let's do the restaurant. I'm so excited for the restaurant, guys. This is gonna be fucking amazing. Will the, will the real Karen please stand up? Please stand up. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish this game. We'll take a break and then we'll play my friend Pedro for a little bit. Karen was in a good mood as she approached the wine bar. It was time for a bi-weekly meetup with some other moms from the region, from the neighborhood watch. They'd become fast friends when petitioning for the local mall to re remove some seasonal decorations that simply read, Happy Holidays, instead of their preferred, Best of Greeting. And ever since they joined forces on that day, they had become unstoppable. So long as the tempers between them remained balanced. Girls? Did I tell you about what happened with Jeremy's school yesterday? No, what happened? Well, you know the fundraiser I organized for his class? The one where all the kids in his grade sold chocolate to raise money for football uniforms? Oh yeah, I remember. Some of the faculty argued it would be better if the money went to classroom supplies. They called me into a meeting and tried to tell me that since all of the kids would benefit from extra computers or pencils or whatever, that it would be more of a fair use of the funds. <laughs> that's... that's just like them, to try and control the situation. What did you do? I did what any good mother would do. I gave them a piece of my mind. I told them that if they wanted new school supplies, they could run a fundraiser themselves. Then I reminded them all that my Jeremy was destined to be a pro football, get a pro football scholarship. How unfair it would be if his opportunities were stifled, stifled just so some underprivileged kids could have what they called student essentials and have an equal chance at education. After that, I pulled my SUV across the parking lot exit and forced them all to stay late. <laughs> Needless to say, they came to their senses. Holy fuck. Damn, the Karens are wildin'. <laughs> well done, Karen M. <laughs> Thank you. Did I tell did I tell you all about what happened with my physician? <laughs> tell us, Karen H. Certainly. I'd gone in to see him about that that pain I've been having in my neck. He had the audacity to tell me it was cancer. Cancer? That's pretty serious. Gosh, are you alright? Don't be an idiot, Joyce! 
It's obviously not cancer. I've been drinking essential oils every day. On top of that, I just bought a new crystal. So clearly my doctor is a moron. <laughs> clearly. What are you going to do about it? Well, I fired him on the spot. I also told him that I'm not paying for his consultation. Now, I'm looking for natural solutions. Oh, that's probably better for you. Exactly. I, I'll take care of myself with home remedies, med meditation, and vitamin supplements. They'll see soon enough. I'll, I'll be just fine without their so-called science. Holy fuck, y'all. Well, the other day, I was at the Bullet Burger down the street. I ordered three triples, and they only gave me three doubles. I was going to complain, but I didn't want to get out of my seat once they started eating. Nobody cares, Joyce. Seriously. Yeah, it's kind of true. <laughs> it's so Joyce, you know? How are you ladies doing? Was everything satisfactory? Um, actually, I think this dish was supposed to come with salted almonds. Um, almonds? No, I don't think so. You must be mistaken. We don't serve that with almonds. Are you calling me a liar? Uh, no, ma'am. I just meant mean that I don't care what you meant. It's listed on the menu. It's listed on the menu with almonds. That's why I was expecting almonds in my meal. Um, actually, ma'am, if you look over the menu again, you'll see that's incorrect. I can bring you the menu again if you'd like. I don't want the menu. I just want some almonds. I was expecting them with my meal. This dish is always served with salted almonds. I don't know why you're being difficult about this. Like I w It's like I was trying to say. We don't carry any almonds here. The chef is deathly allergic. What? I came here for premium service and top-notch dining. Now you're telling me to accept a cut-rate experience because you hired the wrong chef? This is outrageous. How about I go check with the bar for you? Yeah, go do that. Holy shit. So hard to find good service these days. You really got to give them hell to get it. At least that's how I see the situation. Yes, you're so right. Oh, fuck. Oh my gosh, Karen S., who's the hottie? <laughs> yeah, he's really good looking. I think he's flirting with you. You think? Why, just last week there was an incident with the valet near here. I gave them my Mercedes, and they returned it without replacing the air freshener. It was horrible. Like, do they actually expect me to drive home and sit in their employee's stink? It's inhumane. Oh, you're so right! What did you do? Well, I did the only sensible thing. I bought the business, fired the entire staff, and sold it to a holding company. <laughs> Fuck. Made quite the profit from the whole ordeal. Oh my! That's certainly one way to handle things. I'm Karen, by the way. What's your name? Oh, how rude of me. <laughs> what? I'm Kareen. Pleasure to meet you, charming ladies. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, he's really charismatic. Yeah, you better look out. Aren't you married, though? Shut up, Joyce. <laughs> Yeah, it's just some harmless flirting. Plus, her husband is no prize bull anyway. He's still only middle management. So true. I keep telling him to get a promotion so we can have more money. Then he has the audacity to tell me to get a job. <laughs> this game's so good. This is funny as fuck. So, unfortunately, our bar doesn't have any almonds either. Just to let you guys know, I particularly find this so funny because I did a lot of serving work for a time and I'm telling you this shit happens this happens so much guys this shit happens all the fucking time 
all the time. It's so weird. I'm so sorry, but there's really nothing I can do. I feel like in 2020, anyone in customer service can relate. Yeah, yeah, really. It's really anybody. See, the thing is, I find, at least what I found when I was doing food service, I didn't run into too many Karens, but I ran into Karen husbands being assholes. And the Karens were, were there, and they would support their husband. But I never got, like, a true Karen in my face. Um, I feel like that's more retail. I feel, I feel like you get a lot of Karens in retail. I don't know. That's just my experience. That could be, like, so weird and, and wrong on a larger scale. And the lady's right. I'm sorry? I said the lady's right. This simply isn't good enough. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. That's where you're wrong, sweet cheeks. Take this money. Run down to the store and buy her some. You can keep the change. Uh, wow. That's... Wow. This is more than I make in a month. <laughs> Whatever. Just don't take too long. Got it, honey buns? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. Oh shit, yeah, I would do that. Fuck yeah. I mean, this guy's probably a mega dick. But, you know, if I was that server, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Wow, oh, that was incredible. You saved my evening. Ah, it's nothing. Money's all it takes to grease the wheel sometimes. I mean, he's not wrong, but holy shit. It's a shame not everyone can afford to get what they want all the time. Ha, <laughs> yeah. I imagine it would be very frustrating to expect certain things, but be unable to afford them. If I weren't so rich, I'd probably be furious all the time. Anger is really an economic issue, you see. I'm... Oh. I mean, he's not, like, wrong. I don't think. Never mind that theory, though. Can I get you ladies another bottle? That's like someone who's not going to change the system, because he also directly benefits from it, so I don't... I don't know. Anyway, I'm also making a lot of assumptions. Yes, please! Great, I'll just wait for that waitress to get back. Oh my gosh, Karen S. I think you've got him in the bag. Yeah, for real! This could be your big chance! No more fighting at the mall when discount hunting! No more arguing over coupon validations. You really think so? Absolutely. With a man like that in your life, you'll never have to settle again. They had salted almonds and honey dipped ones. I brought both I bought both and hurried back as soon as I could. Here you go, ma'am. Ooh. -you. Is there anything else I can do for you? My shift here is almost over. Actually, yeah. I was hoping that you'd get their table another bottle of wine on my tap. Oh, certainly. Ooh you! And since you're nearly done, would you like to come with me to my yacht? Holy fuck. What? I mean, now that everyone's taken care of. Yes, I'd love to see your big boat. Um, you're not going anywhere. You think you can leave in the middle of our service? What time are you really done? There's still 26 minutes in the hour. You wouldn't be trying to cut out early, would you? Yeah, that's a really weird time to clock out. Fine. I'll stay here with your table. I've already lost all my willpower. <laughs> you have no idea how many times I wish I could have said that to people I've served back in the day. Holy fuck. I wish I could have just been like, all right, I give up. Fuck you. I'll do whatever the fuck you want. Give up. Plus, who wants to have more fun? Who wants to have fun on a boat when they can stay here and service you ladies, right? I'm glad you see it my way. Yep. So, young miss, that's a no on the yacht. That's definitely a no. Yeah, she's staying here with us. Sorry, Kareen. Well, alright. Have a good night, ladies. That's right. Karen's before bros! Okay, waitress. Yes? We'll take the check now. No tip. No tip. There's no tip. There's no tip. <laughs> Amazing. Holy shit, this game is so good.
Oh man, I wish there was a tip added. Can we add that in? Can you get can you add a portion where they leave no fucking tip? Because that's that's so real. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, guys, here we go. Drunk on power after getting her way, Karen went on a spree of entitlement. She shouted down a doctor trying to vaccinate some needy children. She single-handedly banished all youth from the shopping plaza. Then her Facebook couponing group seized absolute authority over all social media. Karen's lust for control was insatiable. Above her, there was only one entity more powerful. The makers of the reality in which she existed. Oh shit, yes! Yes! We're breaking the fourth wall! Is Justin in this game? Oh my god! Yo! Vagabond Don rated at the perfect time! <laughs> Thank you for the raid! Holy shit, y'all! Welcome! <laughs> you guys heard the clip! You! Us? Welcome, y'all. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate the raid. Uh, what about us? Don't play dumb with me, wise guy. I know it's your fault. Huh? W what's our fault? Everything. You two made this world. So all the evil in this world is because of you. Uh, usually, yeah. Uh, however, this one's actually her fault. Her? Me? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, this whole game was pretty much her idea. I see. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, guys, I gotta let you know, I have no idea how to do any impressions, really, so I'm just, I'm just doing voices. <laughs> I, I think you're mistaken. We simply created this world, but you created yourself. Look at what you've done. Look at who you've become. You were given freedom, and this is who you chose to be. What? What are you saying? Oh, man, we go in this route. Uh, man, I'm more powerful than you? Yeah, wait, let's, let's strike down some confidence. We're gonna take, the game is gonna take over the real fucking world. Not more powerful than you? Has the creation risen above the creator? Uh, not really. I think you're missing the point. You're ignoring your own free will? Oh, nope. Never mind. Because <laughs> now we got all this stuff. Free, uh, maybe confidence wasn't the best one. Um... Whoa. There's no such thing as free will. Everything is predetermined by the laws of reality. Yeah, but you know, if we're already if if it were already concluded, then there would be no motion. If everything was preset, then existence would already be at a standstill. But here we are. Everyone's still on the edge of their seats. Truth. It might be hard to accept, but there's no alternative. I don't have to accept an anything. Hmm. Y'all, the real champs. Thank you, vagabond dog. Yo, this game is amazing. I'm I'm loving this. Lots of good shit. We're gonna go full Monica. I could choose to end you if I want. If I have so much freedom, then it's an option. Mm, I suppose theoretically, though I'm not sure what the consequences would be, you might stop existing simultaneously. We need to be very careful with whatever happens next. No, you need to be careful. You don't know who you're dealing with. I'm not just a video game, Karen. I am Karen Incarnate, representative of all universal Karen energies. <laughs> oh my god. She's become aware. Brace yourselves, guys. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. She's growing in power. Oh, soon she will become the ultimate Garen. We won't be able to stop her. Quickly! We have to use our dev powers to contain her! <laughs> 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 
you! You fools! You are too late and far too weak! I have reached my true potential! I am Mega Karen! Uh, guys, I think this might be it for us. Uh, I think you're right, Jake. None can stand in the way of my might! I will take everything that I deserve! No, we have one option left. But Jane, it'll destroy everything. What choice do we have? Come on! We have to shut it down before she reaches into the real world! Oh shit! Wait, what are you doing? You fools think you can stop me? IMPOSSIBLE! I CANNOT BE REMOVED! I AM INVINCIBLE! This is it, guys. Are you ready? Time to pull the plug. Developer power activate! Reality collapse engage! Where's the Captain Planet shit? Oh. The Captain Planet. Captain Captain Developer Team. Fucking amazing. And thus the developers destroyed the reality they had built. Though it once held great promise and needed to end. Without their sacrifice, even more of Karen's energy would spill through the multiverse. <laughs> While her world was removed from existence, Karen's spirit was strong. Her essence now floats among the cosmos eternally. It seeks a new vessel to enter to regain control. Be mindful it does not take hold of you. Or it will be your world that is destroyed. Yeah! Uh, 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 yeah, mm, but the, but, uh, uh. Wow. I'm actually, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy I got like, I, technically the, is this the bad end? I guess, I don't know. But that was amazing. <laughs> Are there other endings? I, there has to be, right? It's the only end? Aw, oh, damn. That's really good though. I felt like there was really going to be other ends with the uh, choices, but that's great. I mean, this is still early access, right? I don't know. Anyway, guys, Codapil, yes! And Empress, I know that name too. And Jake Reardon, I know that name. Look at this. Yeah, it is early access. Great. I'm so excited to see where this goes. That's what's happening? No, is it not? I don't know what fucking's happening. It's done? Oh, never mind. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I love you guys. Please stay cute for 2021! Wait, is this- wait, is this coming out- Hold on, hold on, the real question is, is this coming out before Cyberpunk? Or not? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's the real- the real question. Oh, man. Anyway, this game was- it was amazing. Guys, Magamon Dog! Wow. Yeah, so I just. Great game. Awesome game. Um, please get this game. If you haven't bought it, please fucking buy it. It's really good. They work. I, you know, you guys work really hard on this shit. It's great. Um, please check it out. It's a lot of fun.